Hello, accountability partners. David Alpern of Mastery Consulting. Amir Alahi from uh, from our program asked an interesting question. He said, "What do you think of the expression 'always be grinding'? Always be grinding sort of sounds like the always be closing quote. Okay, I have mixed feelings about this one. So let's see what you think about this. Always be grinding. To a certain extent, there's truth in that as we build our businesses. Why? Because it takes serious effort to build a business. It's not a cakewalk." And in a way, we really are kind of always grinding, right? Uh, I'm going to make a statement that some of you might like, might not like, but it's my observation that all great business people are working 50, 60 hours a week. Uh, That's the sweet spot. I don't see anyone doing less than that, that building a great business. I don't see any, in spite of all this passive income nonsense that goes around here. By the way, I don't see anybody that's working really a lot more than 60 hours a week either. 50 to 60 seems like the sweet spot. So in a way, I guess always be grinding would be true because that's a lot of hours if you consider our calendars, right? But on the other hand, many of you know me better than that, know that I would, you know, I don't usually use that expression of 50, 60 hours, or I keep talking about how I'm trying to convince my calendar, all this. So how, how do you, how, how did this reconcile? So I'm going to argue great business people want to make more and work less. Again, how does that reconcile with always be grinding or 50, 60 hour work weeks? Well, It's because of this. Great business people want to make more and work less, but they're actually still working a lot. They're still working 50, 60 hours a week, but it's a lot more brain power and a lot less sweat equity. Does that make sense? So the exercise in business is to build something of scale. It takes a lot of our energy anyway, but I'd rather it be our power of thinking, our thinking time, our strategic decision making and then ultimately our leverage and delegation. Most of the people I know are great salespeople. Most of the people I know that are running businesses started as exceptional or excelling in sales and now building a business. But the truth of the matter is that's not ultimately running a business. That's just having a high paid sales job. So ultimately we have to lever, we have to delegate, We have to use our cabeza to build the mousetrap, if that makes sense. So always be grinding, yes, but it's not what you think. It's not about sweat equity. It's about brain and thought power. Uh, My question for you today is, having heard what you just heard, is there something that you might tweak in how you manage your day, your week, or your month? I look forward to speaking with all of you as we go around the block. Thanks, folks.